एट पीपल ई एफ जी एच जे के एल एंड एम आर सिटिंग अराउंड सर्कुलर टेबल फेसिंग दी सेंटर ईच ऑफ देम इज ऑफ अ डिफरेंट प्रोफेशन चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट कॉलमनिस्ट प्रोफेशन आर गिवन टू अस एंड देन वी हैव टू डिफाइन द अरेजमेंट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द रूल्स गिवन टू अस we will start by drawing a circle for the circular arrangement if this is the circle eight people are given to us so we'll draw eight points also these are the persons that are given to us all of them are facing towards the center so this helps us a bit in this case then he says f is sitting second to the left of k since all of them are sitting symmetrically we can assume k to be at any position take k here and left of the k is going second to the left of k is going to be this position so at the very start we have finalized two positions right now the scientist is an immediate neighbor of k this means scientist will come at this spot or at this spot this position or this position those that i am finalizing i am writing in the interior of the circle and which are still under consideration i am writing at the outside of this circle there are only 3 people between the scientist and e three people walk three to this side 1 2 3 this will be e and walk three to this side this will be e so whichever way you go your e will come at this position i will write e here so e is possibly here if scientist is here if the scientist is at this position then e will be at this position directly opposite leaving 3 from this side and leaving 3 from this side will take me to this position so e is here or here and scientist is here or here only one person sits between the engineer and e now this is going to make a things very complicated because if i assume engineer at this position then e is already sitting there if i assume engineer at this position scientist but none of these is finalized yet so what i do is as i have been doing in my numerous examples earlier i will think of that scientist is finally sitting at this position on the basis of this i will try to arrange persons and in case a contradiction reaches then i will abandon this and start all over again with the scientist assumed as finally seated at this position because scientist can only be here or here so if this one fails then obviously scientist will be finalized at this position for the time being i'll take that the scientist is at this position and finalized so cross it cross it let us see let us retract a bit backward the scientist is an immediate neighbor of k okay it is finalized here there are only 3 people between the scientist and e now this leaves me e here only so i will cross this e and this e and e is finalized on the basis of the assumption that scientist is located at this position next he says only one person sits between the engineer and e this means engineer uh, and e will be separated by one person if engineer comes at this position i'll write it in the meantime and on the this side left side also engineer is possible so i'll write engineer here to signify that engineer is either at this spot or at this at this spot let us go to the next statement the columnist is to the immediate right of engineer immediate right of the engineer because engineer and all are facing towards the center this position will be the position of the columnist so i'll roughly write columnist here and on the same pattern the columnist is to the immediate right so either the columnist is at this position so i'll write col this is yet to be finalized 
so if engineer is here columnist is here if engineer is here columnist is at this position let us go for the next statement m is second to the right of k this is k second to the right of k means this m is finalized next he says h is the scientist this means h is also finalized still i haven't reached any contradiction things are going on smoothly and in case something goes wrong i'll cross everything and start with scientist at this position and that will definitely take me somewhere because things are particularly smooth till a quite long distance now next he says is g and j are immediate neighbors of each other so g and j have to be together what are the likely positions g and j can't be here m is already e is already i think the most consecutive positions that are empty are this and this one so i'll mark g j g j so this is engineer g or j this is g or j now let me read the next condition what does he say neither g nor j is an engineer now this is a very important piece of information g can g or j one of them has to be here now he says neither g nor j is an engineer this means engineer cannot be at this position so the candidate that i was having here this will be the engineer at this position so look how i have reasoned out and crossed the possibility of engineer being at this position but still i have g or j g or j left here now let me go a little bit backwards to see if i can make some of the adjustments this statement was involving the engineer it says the columnist is to the immediate right of the engineer i have two possibilities for columnist so far one was marked at this position and one was marked at this position if engineer is finalized at this position then obviously m will be the columnist so this is also finalized i'll cross this candidate i'll cross this also because columnist is finalized now who is not finalized engineer is finalized i'll cross it because engineer has moved inside the only positions that are left unfinalized at at this point is g and j now we have to see who comes here and who comes at this position the financial analyst is to the immediate left of f immediate left of f is going to be this position so i'll write financial analyst at this position because it is finalized the lawyer is to the sec is second to the right of columnist columnist is already finalized here so this position second to the right right is going to be this so i'll write lawyer at this position so lawyer is also finalized then the professor is an immediate neighbor of the engineer i have finalized engineer at this position this side is already columnist so k will be professor so things are going very very smoothly let us see what is next g is second to the right of chartered accountant we do not know who is the chartered accountant but let us see if we can find something g could be here if g is at this position then e will be the chartered accountant but g is also possibly at this position so if g is here then chartered accountant will have to be m but m is already finalized as columnist so we have now a good possibility that first of all e will be marked as chartered accountant and this is no longer a doubt g will come here and obviously j will jump to this position what is not known at present is let us make a list of that scientist is h professor is k now engineer we do not know who is the engineer so first of all we'll write engineer and this has to be found out m is columnist e is chartered accountant j is lawyer g is financial analyst so f is not known who f is 
obviously we uh, have to find out one of the letters that is absent here probably it should be l l is the engineer because all the letters out of this list are finalized except l so l will come at this position l is the engineer and which profession hasn't been adjusted so far that profession will fall on f and probably the profession should be doctor so the entire story has been finalized f is the doctor and engineer is l so this is how you can finalize this story a b c d e f g and h are sitting around a circle facing the center but not necessarily in the same order B sits second to the left of H's husband O. This involves blood relations. No female is an immediate neighbor of B D's daughter. Now this is a complicated story. Let's go through it once. D's daughter sits next to, second to the right of F. F is the sister of G. F is not an immediate neighbor of H's husband. So probably one family is sitting here. Let us now try to first of all do one thing. instead of drawing the table we should first of all extract the family chart once we have the family chart then we can get good hints for settling on the table we'll read only those statements which will define a family relationship to us let's start by doing that at least it will be of some help to us b sits second to the left of h's husband now this means h is a married female so we'll write here at this point we'll write h minus this will be a symbol for a female and equal to means that the husband wife relationship is there so this is one thing that we gather out of this one no female is an immediate neighbor of b this is seating arrangement d's daughter sits second to the right of f this means d has a daughter so what we'll do is we'll write d at this position this arrow means the next generation is there and children will come here so d's daughter whosoever it is sits second to the right of f f is the sister of g f is the sister of g so we'll write f minus this is a peer brother and sister relationship and g we don't know who she or he is we'll write it like this f is not an immediate neighbor of h's husband only one person sits between a and f this is also seating arrangement a is the father of g now g rests here and a is the father so what we'll do is their brother and sister so we will now write a at this position with a plus sign because a is a father male and this arrow next generation and this flat line this tells that children are just below f and g are children of a a is the father then he says h is a brother h is a brother also h is a brother d now this is quite interesting because d is on the chart and h is on the chart so this means they are having a brother sister relationship to the immediate left of h's mother so what we'll do is we'll post d here h is a peer of d and d is already a parent we know so we will and h has been given as brother so d plus will be there because this shows that d is a male only one person sits between h's mother so h has a mother also right now so whosoever the mother is let that be marked by question mark and this shows that this is the next generation and h and d are children of this question mark next he says only one person only one person sits between h's mother and e this won't be of any significance at present only one person sits between h and g not of significance now g is the mother of c C is not yet on the chart but G is known to be the mother of C 
so an arrow comes for the next generation a line comes for the children so c can be placed at this position other children will come along this place if they are given then g is not the immediate neighbor of e so now what we have to do is i am just removing this because d has already been fitted these two charts have to be combined into one chart because the entire family is sitting so some relationship will have to be found out which letter has not been yet brought in let us at least bring all the letters first a is there b is not there right b here c is there d is there e is not there and then check out f and g and h only two letters are not there now we have to see these letters where where do they come one is this open end this is another open end and this is another open end the above is a female this is a male we do not know about this person now male can be fitted at this position because one of a b or e has to be at this position and sex of this is not known this is known to be a female let us now see what conditions we have right now so that we can see who fits where he says this line is of significance only one person sits between h's mother and e this means h's mother and e are different so this means e cannot come at this position at this position b can come or a can come now b will come at this position because a is a male so i will fit b and b will be a female e cannot come at this position so i have right now a not on this chart let us see where e can come now this position and this position are to be filled technically speaking a can come here or here also we need to know the child of d who he or she is let us first of all read the statements once again to get some hint about it b sits second to the left of h's husband no female is an immediate neighbor of b d's daughter sits second it means d has a daughter a very clearly it has been given to us we were ignoring this so a cannot come under d this means this bridge between h and a is completed and the remaining one e will fit here and e is a female now we know this is a female this is a female male female this is female already known to us g is the daughter of a then c is not known we do not know who he or she is we leave a question mark so this is the family tree that has been filled for us right now now our only job is to make them sit around a table let's draw that table first of all things should be pretty simple right now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 let us bring them now b sits second to the left of h's husband all of them are facing towards the interior so if i say a is sitting at this spot then second to the left of this is going to be this position and b will be finalized at this position b sits second to the left of h's husband h's husband is a from this chart so a will be seated at this position next he says no female is an immediate neighbor of b so i'll put fem cross and fem cross so this will tell me that no female is allowed to be seated at this position next he says d's daughter sits second to the right of f we do not know where is f so we'll wait f is the sister of g f is not an immediate neighbor of h's husband this means f is not an immediate neighbor of a we cannot write f f is not an immediate neighbor of a so f cannot come at this position next he says only one person sits between a and f a and f have one gap between them so if a and f we look towards this side b is already sitting there we have to look this side so f is finalized at this position because there is one gap between a and f and this is the only possibility so this finalizes f for me 
नेक्स्ट इज एज ए इज द फादर ऑफ जी ऑलरेडी टेकन ऑन अकाउंट एज एच एज अ ब्रदर डी सिट्स टू द इमीजिएट लेफ्ट ऑफ एच एज मदर हु इज एच एज मदर बी सो इट्स द इमीजिएट लेफ्ट इज गोइंग टू बी दिस पोजिशन एच एज ब्रदर हु इज एच एज ब्रदर डी सो डी विल कम एट दिस पोजिशन डी इज फाइनलाइज एच एज ब्रदर इज डी एंड डी सिट्स to the immediate left of h's mother is and the mother is b so b and d will sit like this only one person sits between h's mother and e between b and e one person sits this means d is the one who is sitting between them because on this side a is already finalized so e will come at this position this is also finalized now and next he says g is the mother of c g is not an immediate neighbor of e G can't come at this spot. This means G will have to be finalized. And who is G? G is a female, so female can't come. So G will come at this. G is finalized at this position. Now who is left? A is there. B is there. C is left. E, F, C and H are left. We know female can't come here. That will help us a bit. C and H. C is not known. and h is a female so this means we will have to put c at this position and the left position here this will bring h and this one finalizes the arrangement this is the relationship chart and this is the seating arrangement now whichever questions are there you can answer on the basis of the two do facts available to us this is how we can solve these questions let us take another similar example that will help us understand complex seating arrangements okay let us proceed to our next example